All right, this is Mobile Gamer Nerd. We're back with another Raid Shadow Legends free to play mystery shard only run video. Well, let's see where we're at. Today is uh it's it's the it's the rush to 1000, the road to 1000 subs. We're there. Uh let's look at what we got. We got mystery shards. We got 13 550 agent shards. We've got 98 voids. We've got two primals, which are the ones they gave us for free, and 36 sacred shards. We did just get a new one. I believe the month reset recently. Yeah, so we got another one there. Uh, there is a summon pool going on right now, so yeah, if you've got some of these little thingies, yeah, I guess you can get uh, epic or legendary, possibly. So who knows? If you got if you got these things, great. If you don't, oh well. <laughs> um, Ryan, we only have nine left, so as soon as it resets, basically three days in, we got it. Uh, Mithrala, we're at seventy five, so that's good, and we do have Scion at fifty, which we were definitely getting within the next month, so. It's just waiting and waiting and waiting. So we've got Ryan and Scion are the next ones on our list. He's badass looking. I mean, I'll tell you that much. I don't know if he's good, but we're going to find out. Uh, so they're, they're the next ones on our list. We do still have a bunch of ads popping up. We do still have a bunch of epic tomes. So we have 22. I didn't really count their skills, so I don't know how many they need. But either way, we still have a month at least to get Scion. So we definitely have enough books to get Ryan Max once we get her. I have a feeling it's going to be about the same time, and we'll probably be able to max them both at exactly the same time, pretty much. Uh, so really, the skills will be good. I think, what do we got here? So he only needs one more. So Twin Claw is at one, yeah, one, two, yeah, just one more skill book, and he'll be done, and we'll work on his masteries. We did buy Thurgist. If you've been watching the videos from yesterday, we did put her up as our first six-star awakening, which is kind of nice, uh, but she has no skills, so that sucks. Like, literally none of them, so it's, what, four, nine. 11 books we're going to need to get her going. So that's, I mean, hopefully I think the next clan boss, and I believe the next clan boss will be, not clan boss, clan shop, should be five books. So I'm hoping that's enough to kind of start pushing this forward at least. We'll see how it goes. I'm hoping everything goes well. All right, get out of there. And then everybody else is good. We Like I said, we bought her masteries. Let's get out of here so we can do it for in, in, the, in the regular scene. In the regular scene. All right, here we go. Uh, where are they? I just passed them both. They're my they're my strongest heroes, and yet they're not. So Twin Claw, like I said, we're just gonna work on his masteries once we run out of EXP boost. And her, we got all her masteries done, and we'll be doing a champion spotlight on her, even though we just did the first awakening. But she will still get a champion spotlight. So if you're worried about that, once we use her a little bit and get her masteries done and see where she might actually be good, like the last video was basically us just kind of showing her off and seeing what she can do in different places, which is basically a champion spotlight, but not done. Uh, we do have her in a uh, shield set, which is nice, so we can hopefully get through some uh, the faction crypt, which would be really nice. And uh, Twin Claw's actually been doing pretty good. I'm not, I'm not mad at him. Uh, he survives, and that's really what we want. We want him to survive. And then I think everyone else is done, right? As far as masteries, we honestly, I've been farming hard to get Greybeard skills done. So right now, I think we needed like 10 or 11 books last time. Now we're down to three, five, six books left. So we've been farming that area. I'm like, I want it done. I'm tired of looking at it. I'm over it. So we're going to get his skills done. And we have been getting a lot of spirit hosts. So my faction guardians will be done here as well, at least the way I like it. Say. So we, only, we, already, we just got another one. So I only need one more to fill in another slot. And then we only need two more after that. So basically three more spirit hosts. And this will be all done, and we can pull these guys out and use them for food, or possibly keep a kale. You know, maybe it, I was actually considering doing a starting video, like a start over video with the starting heroes, and seeing if, uh, you know, what it would be like to start with a new hero and maybe like bring out Sniper or something like that and just kind of start fresh with a, a new kale or something just to kind of show everyone what you would be doing at that time. But that's a little bit down the way. I don't want to waste time on it yet. Uh, I was actually considering even starting a new account just to kind of do that. And then delete it. But who knows? Maybe I'll have a day where I'll just show off my old account and how much I sucked at the game just so people can see. I might actually do that this week. Maybe we'll log in and check it out. Uh, but that's that. Uh, as far as this, nothing else in here is of too much concern. We're still missing one person for Shadowkin to get the faction thing done. All right. So where are we at? So we've got some events going on right now. So that's kind of cool. I actually, I don't, I don't hate these events, but I, don't, I mean, they're not great. They're, they're the same garbage. Let's be, let's be honest right up front. Same garbage that it always is. Uh, champion training. I mean, you can get some good stuff here. I mean, if you're trying to get a summon, 12,000 points is a lot. What we got? Three days. It's not terrible if you have a EXP boost and a ton of, e and a ton of energy from clan versus clan. If you saved it, then this ain't terrible. And if you have some gems, this actually might be worth it to try to at least get this 10K. 
Uh, I know that that sounds like a lot and it kind of is, but I know I've pulled at least three to 5,000 in one day just from leveling heroes and, you know, just grinding and that was it. And it wasn't even that bad. So conceivably in three days, if you have time, this ain't a bad idea to do. You're not going to win this more than likely. Most, most likely whoever's at the top is going to win this, that these guys are going to fight for it once it gets close. But yeah, I mean, I haven't been leveling. So I have 15 points. I literally just logged in now. I think I did my clan boss this morning and some other stuff, and that was it. So I haven't touched anything yet so far this morning, which is why I have zero points in this, which I will be gaining points quickly. Uh, as far as the champion chase, I mean, that's what I, that is what it is. I'm not even going to waste my time with it. Spider tournament, don't care. Dragon turn attack, don't care. So these are all the ones we don't care about. Uh, oh, no, we don't care. They're really getting aggressive with this. Events. So now these two. These two I am interested in. So you can get 500 points every day. At first, I thought it was going to be terrible. It's not bad. So every day you get 500 points, and everybody will get these things. So basically, everyone will get a, a Primal Quartz. So And you'll all get a Primal Summon if you do this. So all you got to do is grind out some, even if you're just doing the Dungeon Divers event through like your normal leveling, just from campaign. Like this will probably be pretty easy. I mean, maybe, how about this? We'll do a couple runs in a second and I'll, we'll do it. Uh, artifact Enhancement. This one is rough. I may just try to get to this book so that I can finish out my boy. So I think that's going to be the move. We're just going to get to the 1500 mark. So I only got to level up a couple pieces. I don't know who I'm going to do it for. We'll see. Um, I haven't decided yet. So we're going to do that. And that'll get us some stuff. I mean, it, it's, the way of, it's the way of the world. And we have the Altar of Souls, which is what? Do we have anything good here we can buy? Who do we got? No one that I want, really. So we're good. Let's get out of here. Oh, geez. There, that's like the ninth ad. Thank you, Raid, for sucking at your job. You have to beg for money. Good, good job. All right. So I've been going into Brutal. Here we go. Brutal. Go in here. And then we... Oh, yeah. That was it. I forgot. We got a new hero. We got Fencer. She's actually brand new to our account. So I'm very excited to use her. We're going to run it real quick. Actually, no, we're going to keep some other heroes in here. I was going to do it without the heroes, but I changed my mind. So we're going to bring him. No, we're not going to bring him. We're going to do him and her. Her and her. I don't know. It's all girls. Galek told me he likes he likes to run with chicks. <laughs> now, her speed is a little bit faster than Galek, so it goes slow. But she's, she's not bad. She's pretty cool. We threw some good gear on her. See? She's doing pretty reasonable damage for a level 16, only four star. Um, I'm not, I ain't mad at her. She's doing some good stuff. There we go. So we got 14 points from that. We didn't get an artifact, so we got to see how many artifacts it takes. We're going to run a couple of these just to kind of see how many points we get from doing it. I want to see how hard it is to get 500 points in a day for this. That's really what I want to show you guys. I want you guys to see that you can totally get a bunch of mystery shards instead of gear and still win. Now, I mean, if you're really hardcore about it, you could just run Spider on auto at, when you log in and then go do something else. And there you go. You got your 500 points. So there we go. Now we got a piece of gear and we are getting some champion training going. I don't know. I think we might, I don't know if I'm going to take her to five star yet, even though she is really good, but she's not in a faction that I need to build. So I don't know if I really want to waste resources getting her to five star. Uh, I'd rather just try to, I mean, ultimately I do want to get everyone to five star so that I can stop worrying about five stars and I can literally just start figuring out which six stars I want. So, Ultimately, I would like to just kind of relax for a little bit, but at the same time, it's like I kind of want to keep building those six stars because they do take time, and ha having to do that all at once might be a little painstaking. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I don't know how I feel about it. I I kind of just level up a bunch of five stars whenever I have time, even if it's three every month. I don't care. Like it's not like it's the end of the world. At least it's at least I'm moving forward. Is really what it is. I mean, we do have a lot of heroes coming. We're getting to that point, though, where like pretty soon it's going to be pretty easy with leveling and saving materials and stuff because having to do the fives and the sixes right now, it's rough. But once I have everybody five star, then every new hero I get, I just got to get to five star by themselves, which is not as hard as getting like three to five. So I can just kind of as soon as I get a new hero, I just get them to five star, throw them in the vault. We're good. And every hero that's 50 has gear. So like they're all geared and ready to rumble at least for like, you know, whatever I need them for. And then I would just re-gear them as I go into six star. So it's, it's just, just depends. I, I basically give them the best gear I can possibly give them. And sometimes I throw some stuff off. All right. So let's just see. And obviously this is not optimal for leveling. I'm, I'm going to be cleared. I wouldn't say this is recommended what I'm doing right now because you will 
not get as much experience here. So if you're trying to do the event, don't do this. Go into stage 12-3 or go into the dungeons because you'll get a lot more money. Doing the spider might actually be your best bet because you'll make a ton of silver selling off the crap accessories that you get. And you can run stage, uh, what is it, 10 and just get freaking tons of money. So you know, we'll do that in a sec. I just want to get these guys leveled. The problem is, is I really want to do champion training at the same time so I can get a couple of the things from that event also. So I may just say screw it with trying to farm this guy for a little bit. But I just want to see how much I get from doing this garbage first. So we might just run 12-3. That might be the option for now until this event's over. And then come back to this. Because I've been going back, I've been bouncing back and forth. I haven't, I don't stick with 12-3. I only do 12-3 when there's an event and I really need to level somebody or if I'm behind and trying to get EXP, then I'll do it there. But otherwise, yeah, I'm doing this. And we're just gonna see how many of these freaking uh how many of these heroes we can get. And so the drop rate on her is horrendous, by the way. Like it is terrible. I mean, there was actually one time that I did 30 I did a bunch of runs. I put on auto for three three stars, I think. I was trying to max them out, so I just threw them on auto and went away. And I came back and I had one Greybeard and one uh, Spirit Host. So, it does happen. I mean, so far, recently, like just, just doing it now, it doesn't seem like it's been that bad. I don't know if, if they fixed it or if I'm just getting lucky, to be honest. I, I would assume just getting lucky because I've done this before and I never have luck with it. <laughs> so, it just happened to be my week. So far, Fencer's pretty good. I mean, I she doesn't have bad ratings either. We'll take a look at her in a sec, but all right, we're level 19. We're just gonna bang it out real quick. So yeah, I mean, she's actually not bad. She does she does have a low defense drop, like it's the 30%, but she also has turn meter reduction, which is nice. Only downside with that is if you did build her for like Doom Tower or something higher. The problem with that is if you get someone who's unkillable, they might just she might just keep decreasing their turn meter and then you'll never finish the fight. So I get a little weary of turn meter sometimes but it's worth it if you can get her to hit them before they get their skill off then you're great all right so where are we at there we go look at that see we got a spirit host last one now we can go into faction and do it there we go boom faction guardians see sometimes she does drop all right so we're gonna take judge out and then put spirit host in confirm and there we go only two more left and that'll be forever done like that's my done in my world, it's done. So now we just got to make sure we put them back in the vault. We're going to reserve. Where are my spirit hosts? One, two, two reserve vault. And then we got to find judge. Look at this. See, this is how I want it to look. All the same heroes. I'm very picky with this kind of stuff, by the way. And so it, it irks me when there's other stuff going on. Uh, who am I looking for? Judge. So judge can come out. And now he is food. Look at that. We're getting we're getting better. Because judge's skills are all maxed, I believe. I, I don't. I did a, Did I do a video on him? Or is he not done? No, he is done. So yeah, he's done. We can do a video on him, actually. I haven't. I, I, I keep forgetting that there's a bunch of heroes I got to do uh, champion spotlights on. I mean, we've got what now? Like 50, 60, something? I don't even know how many we've got. A lot. We've got enough, and that's all that matters. So here's Fencer. Not bad. She's basically uh, Hyria, but doesn't have the skill sets as Hyria. Hyria is just more, a little more advanced as far as things that you can do with her. Uh, we did have some attack gear that was level 16. I did not purposely level these pieces of gear, but it got her some pretty good stats. I mean, like I said, she's only level, what, 26, right? And she's got 1,400 attacks. She's got a little bit of defense. She's got almost 200 speed, which we can get definitely get over 200. Uh, crit rate 81. Crit damage is garbage, but we'll fix that once we get her amulet. Or not amulet. Yeah, amulet. Amulet. Um, she's got a little resist, a little accuracy. We'll see what we do. Uh, probably we'll do accuracy on her and kind of build her almost like a, like a war maiden, basically. Uh, skills are pretty cool. I mean, like I said, she does, each hit has a 15% chance of placing decreased speed, so she does have a decreased speed, so she could immediately be used in, um, the, what is that, Iron Twins. You've got a chance of placing a stun, and if she doesn't place a stun, like, on a boss, then she'll decrease turn meter by, by, um, 20%, so that's kind of nice. And then attacks all enemies and does a 30% decreased defense. If that was 60, she'd be, she would be, what do they say, the Tits McGee? That's what she would be. But otherwise, she's just a, she's an average hero. She's good. She kind of looks cool. I like the way her sword glows blue with the flames around her. But, you know, it is what it is. She's not terrible. I would use her if I was just starting, like if I pulled her in the beginning, she'd be in my team probably right now as a level 60 because she's pretty good um but yeah that's her that's fencer so that was our new hero and then you saw the two that we're getting i believe we're not really much further with what's her name uh the tomb lord so the whatever name the, the angel chick from doom tower we're not really much further there 
as far as Iron Twins, I'm debating what I'm going to do here to start pushing forward. I may start doing that here. Uh, we did go into Ice Golem. So this is something we need to, fin to kind of work on. I think what we did was I did this team and they got wiped because they couldn't kill the boss. They couldn't, they couldn't kill the ads in time. So I don't know what to do here. I might just take her out. I'm trying to find an auto team, even though I don't need to. I, pro I could easily just bring in Armager and just sit here for 20 minutes and do it. But I don't know how, my, how I feel about it. Where is Armager anyway? Here he is. Like, we could just bring him in. The defense here helps. But at the same time, I don't know. This is a tough one. Maybe, you know what we'll do? We're going to try something. We're going to do that. The provokes, I don't know if the provoke really helps me. I mean, it does because he's strong. He doesn't die. So there is that. But I'm considering possibly bringing in another damage dealer. Someone who can maybe even do regen and leech. Is that something we want? I don't know. This is a tough one. It is a tough one. You know what? We'll bring Kale for now. Let's just let's just start it. We're going to give it a shot and see how the boss goes. And I think what we're going to do is we're not going to auto the boss. We're going to drink tea, though. That we are definitely going to do. So we've got revive. We've got healing. We've got freezes and stuns, which are good for adds. And we've got the unkillable, I mean, the, the block unkill block revive, whatever the hell it's called. And we've got Kale who can do what Kale does. So we'll see how he does. I don't know if this is going to work. I mean, I feel like this team will win if I do it manually. I don't feel like there's a problem here, but even the other team I did would have worked, I think, manually. Just this one that's not. This one's going to be a little bit different because we're, we're, we're going to focus on attack now instead of defense because normally we focus on defense. But if we're going to take down the ads quickly to not get one shot by his attack, then maybe this could be the option. So we'll see. This is going to be what we're doing. We're going to try it. I always like to, to decide right on the cuff what I'm going to be doing today. And if this is progression, then this is progression. Whatever. It is what it is. It's, I've been pushing it off for too long. We've already beat the other three dungeons up to hard mode. So I want to beat all four up to hard mode before I start trying to do hard mode. So we're going to do that. Who doesn't like a good ice golem fight? And these fights suck because they take too long. I remember every time I used to do this in one of my videos, I would get angry. Because I was like, damn it, I don't really want to show this. <laughs> I just hate showing Ice Golem. Because for me, it's a slow fight. Because I haven't figured it out yet. But once I figure it out, I think we'll be good. I mean, Spider, we've pretty much got down at this point. Fire Knight, we've got in the bag. Um, Dragon, I would say we have it in the bag. I just haven't. I haven't put together a team that's like remotely good for beating it quickly, but I know I can just put together a team and we can win that. So all the dungeons are good except for this one. It's funny because this one really was one of the easier ones in the beginning, actually, I think. Or I forgot. No, this one was actually harder in the beginning and got easier. And now it's getting harder. And it's not even that it's hard. It's just slow as piss. Like, really? I mean, I don't know how slow you pee, but I, sl I pee very slow. All right. I have... I have a I have a disorder called called slopia, slopia, and it and it basically means that every time I pee, I go slow. I'm done with this joke. This joke is over. We're done. We're stop talking. We're gonna stop talking about pee now. So, but yeah, this is definitely a slow fight. I don't like it. It's my least favorite fight now. It used to be not my least favorite, but look at this. Even with an attack buff, this is just taking forever. Granted, I get it. I understand that sill is defense. I understand that Apothecary is a support hero and that Armager's defense. But the only people that attack is really helping here is these two boneheads. All right, we're taking it off auto. Let's let's just win. All right, that's really what we want. We want to win, and we can worry about auto on 25. So we're going to try and take away somebody's turn meter. We also want to drop speed, right? So probably on him. There we go. Decrease speed. Now we're going to try and take these guys down as much as possible. We don't want to do too much damage to the boss, though, because then he'll get that attack off. All right, so they're both stunned. Now we'll speed us up. Um, we're going to try and take these guys down one at a time. Let's just do it. Screw it. This guy knew it was going to hit the boss as many times as possible. All right, we're just going to keep going for one of these. 
Decreased turn meter, always good. Um, um, okay. As long as we can keep this guy from attacking, I think we'll be fine. Let's try and freeze everyone. There we go. Everyone's frozen. He's dead. That wasn't good. Uh, we want to heal him. Still will heal herself. This is like the worst part. I think, I think, uh, what's his name would be better here. I feel like I should have just kept Mr. Uh, Drex in here. They were able to do it pretty quickly. Like they were able to get to the middle, I think to HP about 50% before they all died. All right. We're getting close here. Heal you. This is just the only part that sucks is like the setup to get this done. All right. Let's see. We, the problem is we can't kill him. Otherwise it turns into a 20 minute thing. All right. Nope. No turn meter reduction. Let's do some stunning. Okay, we got the stun on the other ad, so that's good. Keep decreasing this one. It's getting close. All right, so that's tough. We're going to do this. He's frozen. We're going to speed everyone up. What are the chances it's going to be good enough? Oh, please, please do it. Thank you. Did that block revive? It better have. It better have blocked revive, or I'm going to be pissy. I should have healed. I, I was that was dumb of me. <laughs> there we go. No more turn meter. Let's just keep it keep it running. Keep everything going quickly. We'll see how everything runs. All right. As long as they keep doing decreased turn meter, we don't have to worry about much here. Just keep going. Keep on keeping on, as they say. Now we're going to heal him. Smackdown. Luckily, it, they have the poisons and stuff, so that might that might hurt us in the long run, having all these poisons and stuff, because they might take too much damage. Um, here we're gonna try and take his turn meter and drop his speed. And it revived him. How come the block? So I guess the block revive didn't even work. So that sucks. All right. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to heal Sill. And then we're going to stun everyone. So we're good there. Speed everyone up. Turn meter down on this guy. Heal. So this is going poorly. All right, let's just take this guy down a little bit. Do some attacking. Uh, all right, speed up again. Keep speed going. All right, we want to revive Armager. Because why not? And then heal him. We're under protect. Get another stun. See, I didn't realize that accuracy might have played a part on this. That's, uh, that's my bad. Not good. All right, Sill is the important one because she can bring everyone back. All right, let's just keep going on him. I don't know if it's going to work. Um, this is a bad idea. I don't know. I'm going to let it. I think I'm going to let it go. He's about to get a turn, so that might kill him. There you go. Now we're good. So now hopefully this will block revive. There you go. Finally. I don't know why that was a pain in the ass. So now we've got one down. That's exciting. All right. He's stunned. Now we can revive Kale because he's he lasts a little bit longer. We want to keep everyone alive. Now we just keep pushing on this guy. Yep. So defense hero is better. <laughs> so if I was going to do this again, yeah, I would 100% do... We're only going to do this one fight. We're not. We're not going to push forward on this. I'll do this offline. There's no way. Uh, but I think this is what I said last time too. I was like, I'm not doing this. I'll do it offline, and I never did it because it takes forever. And I'm like, screw it. So, but yeah, as long as we can get, at least now we know we can only get 50 percent defense drop on our team because one of them is dead. All right, so we'll just keep moving. He's going to get turns, so he's not going to do as much damage anymore, which is good. Even though he's still a jerk. All right, we're just going to speed everyone up because we want to make sure we get more turns in between. 
technically you could just auto it from this point with like if i had drex i would honestly just auto it from this point because it doesn't matter if he's dead or not because one being dead was enough for me to not die when two were alive when he did the big hit i got wrecked so and that's even with my biggest defensive heroes up like i had uh, visix in here a bunch of heroes so yeah definitely not good but yeah one of them with drex and all that i probably would say would be fine You just got to hope that everything goes well. Once the uh, the ads are dead, though, this is a joke fight. Like, if you can get somebody who maybe who can do a ton of damage to these ads to get their health down quicker than what I'm doing, because this is obviously going poorly. But, yeah, I mean, if you have somebody who can take these heroes down quickly or do, like, even, like, a swap HP hero, possibly, that could be something that could work. I don't know if that works in here, but if you have someone like that who does the HP swap, you could bring, wait for that hit, and then whoever and then when they have low health, do the HP swap and then kill them with the uh, armager. So something like that could could work. I don't I don't know. I mean, you you let me know. I haven't done it. I think I have one HP swap hero. I forgot who it was. I think it's that. Isn't that like the the dark elf guy? I think I forgot his name, but I think he does it. And then obviously the that legendary does it. And I think I forgot who it was. There's another. I think. I don't, it's not, I don't think it's Fane. It's, it might be Fane. I don't remember. But there's another epic that does it too. There's a couple. But yeah, HP swap could be something that works in here. I don't know. Like I said, if you guys have seen that kind of stuff, let me know. I don't. I honestly couldn't tell you. All right. Is he going to get a turn? No, he's not. So we're going to keep pushing him. Not with him, though. Um, Like that. All right. Do we want to take a chance here? All right, he's down to nothing. Let's just see. Why did it not block revive, you bastards? All right, we're, we're going to put on auto. See what happens here. Let's just see what, 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 what the cow brings home. See if it was enough. Oh, did he just block revive on me? <laughs> That's new. I didn't know. I didn't. I don't know what that was about. I don't know what's. I think his accuracy is just trash. I don't know how he's missing a block revive. Doesn't make any sense to me. But whatever. If you guys know, let me know. I, like I said, I don't pay attention. There we go. He didn't. I was like, I, it looked like he put the block revive on me. It could imagine it's like a, a lag thing. And it's just making it so that we can't do it. But whatever. Like I said, if it's accuracy, it's accuracy. We just I haven't rebuilt Armager. So he's on my list for a, t a hero to rebuild. So we definitely need to rebuild him. I think it's a big, it's a big deal. Because he's going to start becoming, I think, a lot more, more important. Even though he's important now, I feel like he can be a lot more important. I'm going to take auto off for a sec. See if we can get the block revive this time. Oh, you sucky. You sucky, sucky. All right, we're going to heal you. Oh, I should have healed the other guy, actually. We're going to stick to the one-hitters. She's going to die if I don't cycle through quick enough. Uh, keep going on him. All right, we need one more turn. Turn meter down. We're going to speed everyone up because we don't want to accidentally kill him. Keep going on this guy. Uh, keep going on this. Come on, come on. We need one more turn, Mr. Armager. Heal. Thank God that was up. All right, now we're going to try one more time. Thank you. Jeez Louise, man. Now we can just hopefully make this guy not attack. I think he gets one more attack, right? Yeah, one more big one. Okay, that's where the block revive was because they couldn't come back. That's what it was. I was getting confused. See, stupid. I, you know what? It's early. All right, I'm tired. All right, I just had, I didn't have coffee. I had tea. Stop judging me silently behind the camera. All right. But as you can see, this fight sucks for me, but you know what? We can get through it. And that's really the point of all this. The only one we have to auto at this point, because 20, we can auto easy. We did it, obviously. We did it. So we got our arbiter. But. 25, we're going to have to figure it out because, I mean, I, I'm going to have to auto that eventually to get to Rama 2. Granted, I don't care about Rama 2. We're not like, it's not like I've said it before. We're not really pushing for Rama 2, but 
Oh man, it is. It's rough. It is rough out there. So yeah, I would probably bring in like more defensive heroes here. I don't think there's anyone that I would really consider outside of Drex. I'd probably keep my boy there. Oh, of course, and now he does the block revive by himself. So there we go. We've got a. Uh, we've got this. So that took us 13 minutes, which is I think better than the last one, right? Yeah, that actually worked with the attack up. I mean, it was quicker. And we wasted about three minutes, I think, because the extra ad's not dying from the block revive. So I think by putting some... By putting the... Okay, so by putting a better accuracy on my boy, getting his accuracy up, I think, and getting someone... Picking a hero who can take those guys down quickly. Problem is, you got you to balance it. Because I could bring in someone like, um, like Soulbond, who's insane single target and just start popping away on those guys. But there's a chance that she might kill them. But I also am, I, here's the thing. I want to consider a team that can do this on auto, but I don't think I have one right now. At least, at least not a reliable one, Like that I could be like, all right, I'll put this on. Like it might take, because they could die because they, they won't kill the ads with block revive. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'll have to think about it. I don't know about auto. It's obviously uh, auto on 25. That mission isn't coming for a while. We haven't even fused raisin yet. We're still trying to get the last uh, blood feather. So it's not like I'm like right next to stage 25 and I need to auto it tomorrow. It's not like the end of the world. So, but she could definitely help me get through the fights now, like for the early game, just to get into hard mode. Uh, she could be useful in that sense by just doing a ton of damage to each ad and then having my boy come in and just knock him down. So we'll see. Where is Armager? Where's my boy at? My boy. My wife. My wife. Where is he? All right. So his accuracy is probably garbage, if I had to guess. I mean, it's not garbage, but it's not good. Yeah, 176. We, we definitely got to do some stuff with him. Uh, we haven't re-geared him in a long time. Uh, what do we got? Defense, defense. I mean, there's actually probably a lot we could do even just with... We could do something good here because his defense sucks, and I have... How do I have all this defense and HP on him and he still sucks? Like, what the hell? All right, so we've got HP, defense. We have an accuracy. I'm oh, sorry, these are all attack. So we've got better rings probably we can get. This one has defense. This one has defense. I would like to have something without... Look at this. Flat stats and it's attack. Kiss my butt. These are bad. These are bad. Like, I want something with a, a HP and... God... Darn it. All right, so this is the best one. These two, I think, are the best ones. This has 6% defense. Let's just see. Let's just do a, up to 8 and see if we get a, a double roll. All right, so we got 10, so that's not terrible. I think that's better than... Yeah, no, nope, we've got more attack here. Let me see. But Oh, it's right, because this one's max. That's why. So this one has 9, so we're already better on defense. But this one has a lot of attack and HP. This has double attack, so I don't know if I would even waste my time with it. I'd probably just say no. <laughs> uh, but these, we've got crit damage with accuracy. That I could deal with. Um, crit damage with attack and accuracy. Yeah, I hate the attack. Give me something good. Do we have anything good going on in banners? Oh, we do have an accuracy banner, so that's something we could consider. But let me just say, let's just run this to 12 real quick. All right, well, it all went to the defense, even though it sucks. There we go. All right. So we've got HP at least and defense. This does give us more defense. <laughs> really? Is that is that the case? Yeah, this actually gives us more defense, but a ton less HP. So I don't know how I feel about that. Um, yeah, that's right, because this has 5,000. I forgot this is all HP. But this could be a good idea to get up. I mean, we're gonna, we have to do a, what is it? Artifact enhancement anyway, right? Let's just see what that last stat is if we get it. Unless the, my my silver runs out, which it probably will, because this game hates me. Yep, ran out. Need more silver. I was about to say I want to see what we get out of it. I want to see what that final stat is. I mean, we have a bunch of stuff to sell anyway, so it's not like it's the end of the world. Here, let's look. What can we sell? Let's just sell some crap. I think I went through and sold a lot of this anyway. Is this good? Attack, attack. Yeah, there's no speed, so I don't. I, yeah, I don't want to flat attack that. Sorry, bud. I'll take the silver. It's funny how I used to I used to like save all my six stars, and now I'm just like, nope, no speed, don't want it, don't care. Uh, is there anything here we can get rid of? Anything here? We've been getting a bunch of stuff from these. This has speed. I haven't leveled a couple of them up, though. Uh, what's this? This has crit rate and speed. Actually, that's a pretty good hit. That's a pretty good piece, actually. 
I'll take that. Anything with crit, crit damage, all that stuff? Yeah, I'm in. Speed. This has speed. These I'm probably never going to use. These two. But we'll keep them for now. You never know when you're going to need a boot. This one has attack and attack. These I never use attack. Literally, I don't ever use attack gloves. I probably should, but I don't. You never know when it would come in handy. I would much rather use a crit damage glove, so no. I, I don't want it. Those are all garbage. We'll get rid of them all. Um, anything else in here? This, I think, was garbage. This, I think, was garbage. No, this one was good. We got a bunch of stuff. From, I forgot we got from the thing. This doesn't have speed, so we don't care. Goodbye to that. Anything else we can do to hopefully get this thing to 16? This is whatever. We did get a six star here with speed, so that's kind of nice. I actually got a mythic set from that other event. This one's cool. Look at this. We got a mythical weapon for kill stroke and a mythical um, shield. Both have speed. Unfortunately, my rolls sucked, so I didn't get any speed. I got HP on this one, which really blows. But yeah, now we have a cool crit damage plus 5% speed set, and they're both good, and we have a mythical one. So it's not terrible. It's good enough. You know, it's good enough for another hero. This is defense. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to keep the speed. And I think these are good. All right, so that's enough. Let's just sell those. Sell. Do we have any, any uh, what is it, rings that we can sell? I don't think so. I mean, I've been, do yeah, we do. Sell. There we go. Boom. Green. What's this? Four star. We don't want it. What is this? Defense with attack. Don't want it. Defense with HP and defense. That's good. I like that one. This one is HP with attack. Nope. Goodbye. This is green. We don't care. This is attack with HP and attack. I'll still keep it. This is garbage because it's green. I don't need green rings anymore. No more. I don't even care what they are anymore. We're just going to get rid of these two. I don't care that they are... The only ones I keep that are green are banners at this point, and that's because they're hard to come by for some reason. Um, and then if I have a, a faction that's really hurting on things, then I don't keep... I won't keep... Uh, I mean, I'll keep some green stuff, but most of them at this point look like this. I mean, we're, we're getting to that point where why should I keep green if I don't need it? Here we go. Sell these. There we go. Sell that. That gave us about 600, 700,000, right? Close this. Go all the way to the top. Sacred order. Where are we at? Here it is. Upgrade. All right. Well, give it to me. Nope. Oh, it did give it to me. Last freaking one. Look at that. And we got defense on a percent. So that's good. I mean, it's not the best thing ever, but it's good. All right. So what did that give us now? So that gives us some defense. I mean, whatever. What's his? What's his? Uh, he's thirty-five thousand. I'm curious what this does. Remove. Oh, I don't have any silver now. <sighs> yeah, bastard. Yeah, bastards. All right, what do we got that we can sell real quick? Accuracy, resist. We have accuracy. We have defense. Oop. We have defense. We have defense, and we have accuracy. Um, yeah, we're gonna get rid of that. Do I have another resist one? Accuracy, accuracy. Oh, we have a lot of accuracy and a resist. So yeah, these two can go sell. We don't care. We don't care. Who do I care? Remove this. Remove it and get it out of my face. All right, so now we can put this on. Equip. There we go. And he stays the same power. So I do want to farm some gear here. We need to get another defense chest that's 60. And we need to get another weapon that's got some other stats on it, like defense, perhaps. You know, defense would be nice and speed. Uh, this would be better off at 60. So that's pretty much what we're going to do there. These pieces, I mean, they're not bad. This one's got speed and accuracy. And some HP doesn't hurt. I'm not mad at it. Uh, this one has pretty good stats. Yeah, I mean, I might keep these two. But other than that, I'm, I'm game to get rid of a lot of these things. I mean, the glove's pretty cool, though. The head is the one I think we need to adjust first. And then these pieces, I think that we'll get a lot of stats out of that. But yeah, at least now we've got some accuracy. So we've got him now up to 250 accuracy, so he can land that. Um, his HP is obviously a lot lower, but, you know, it is what it is. It's going to hurt me if I try to do some spider. If it, if, well, whatever. If it bothers me and it messes up my game, then what do we do? We just change it back, right? It's not the end of the world. I didn't sell the other one, so it's not like the world's going to end because I put accuracy on the guy. Uh, here we go. Artifact enhancement. Watch, we're going to get like 50k silver. Right? Oh, no, we got energy and bruise. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, so that's our progression for today. Like I said, we're going to be building up the, the new heroes, getting ready for Ryan, getting ready for uh, Scion. We're going to be getting ready for any other hero that's coming our way. We're going to be getting ready to click this and get some Polarian points. Yay! Uh, and yeah, we'll probably do as much of this event as we possibly can. I just, I, I definitely want to get the book, and we definitely want to at least try to get uh, this done. See, so just from doing dumb stuff, we got fifty-seven points. So this isn't 
a, a one and done thing like the other ones, like the fusions. I mean, like I said, you can just run spider. I would say that's your best bet. Maybe just put spider on auto every day before while you eat breakfast or something and you'll get 500 points because you can only earn 500 a day. So that's all you got to do is 500 per day. And this is worth it because there is some stuff in here that's good. I mean, the barrel alone is worth it because you can upgrade one level 60 to max without having to level them for and wasting all that energy to level them. So just that barrel alone, I think, is worth the 500 points every day. I mean, it's four days. You do what you got to do, you know. Uh, but yeah. If you guys have any questions, comments, things, make sure you leave a like, share, subscribe, road to 1,000 subs. Thank you very much. I hope you guys have been enjoying everything that we've been doing here. I'm really excited to see what happens over the next few weeks and if we can get to that point and get that shop going. Get the shop out, get some things happening, you know, more videos, more more fun, more things, more people on my channel other than just me. You know, you know the good things that happen as we grow and build from a, a lowly boy, <laughs> from a lowly boy who plays Raid Shadow Legends by himself. He is a sad man. He is. Yeah. So there we go. All right. So that's it for today. Enjoy your day. This is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and you guys take care.